How are y'all doing? Very good. Very good. How, what's the temperature like there? Uh, it's pretty warm. We're probably in the 80s in, uh, in Tennessee, but we're staying home, so it's whatever the air conditioning is at this point. Okay, is, nice. it a, is it a lockdown lockdown, or is it, are you allowed to sort of uh, move around? Tennessee is pretty opened up, but I'm staying home because I don't want to take any chances. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you can you can go around here. You have a little bit more freedom here than in a lot of the country, but it's uh it's I'm I'm on the team stay home for now. Okay. Okay. Well, good so, luck. Keith. So guys, speaking of staying home, everybody's be staying home to watch the old guard uh in a, in just a couple of weeks and I thought the movie was a lot of fun. Uh, and it's a comic book, which here at comicbook.com, we love those. I'm curious, when you get cast in a comic book movie, do you go back and read the book for research, and, or do you stick solely to the script? Like, was there anything from the book you wanted to make sure specifically you honored? Most yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, there was a, a very specific scene uh, that was in a comic book that at some point was in the screenplay, and then and all of a sudden, just in a new version, a new draft, disappeared and I got like freaky about it. I'm like, no, 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 we, we need that scene back in. I can't, I'm not gonna spoil it right now, but we need that scene back in because that to me was the, the, the core of the journey of Booker. And I thought if we lose that, it kind of annihilates or, or neutralizes or flattens the entire um, story. And it's crazy because one scene can either amplify everything and the absence of that scene can just flatten everything. And um, so, yeah, there was, there was, uh, and definitely I, I looked into the graphic novel because I wanted to see what, what the narrative tone was of, of the, um, knowing that we're going to make a movie still, we're going to do something else. But at the same time, you want to know what the rhythm is, what, what the dynamic is between the characters, what, what the visual tone is, what, what the narrative tone is, just to get a sense of that, of that, of the, yeah, of the, of the universe. And that, and that really helps. Uh, yeah. Sometimes there are there are small there are details that that can be interesting. You know, there there it, it can be yeah. from what someone is wearing to the, the way someone looks at the other uh, characters uh, that that you can you know uh, on a micro level uh, use and, and and make it make it richer. Um, so it, it it's de it was definitely helpful to have the graphic novel around. They love that. Uh, who's the biggest kind of comic book fan? Do you guys have you got have anybody here grown up on superheroes or, or love the movies that we see now that are in this vein of comics and superheroes? Well, to be honest, I, I've never been a very superhero y. I mean, I've, I've loved some of the movies in the past, but I, I've never been like a uh, like a follower or a, and what I liked about this this setup, I mean, this premise is that we're dealing with superheroes that don't really have a superpower. They just, they have the inability to die. They can't die. And that is a very, um, that opens up, a, a, you know, a realm of, of, of moral ambiguity and, 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 and questioning that I think is very interesting. And at the same time, uh, at the same time, the, the, the characters are, 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 you know, they're, they're those people that are tired, they became cynical, they're, they, 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 they lost their sense of people or, 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 or they, they stopped believing in, in, in the righteousness. They still feel in that that's what they want to fight for. But they, every, when they look at the world, they, they think like, okay, we're lost. And so there's, there's, there's this, this element where I think um, the, the spectator, uh, the viewers can really identify and relate to, to what the characters are going through. And, and that makes it very earthy and grounded and, and makes those superheroes, so to speak, very... Yeah, very close to you because they look like you, they behave like you, they talk like you, and and so makes it very uh, yeah makes it less um, fantastical in 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 terms of like non realist. This it really feels real, and that is something that I love. Sure, yeah, I love that. That's a big reason we're into all this stuff. And I've got to get out of here. So, uh, Marwan, I've got to ask you one quick question before I go. We're big right. fans of your work in Aladdin. I grew up a fan of that franchise. There might Thanks. be a sequel to that on the way. Would you want to be doing a, a take of the return of Jafar? Because I think you could knock that out of the park, man. Uh, I would be I would be humbly grateful to 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 do a second one. It's up to it's up to the big uh, uh, the big bosses, and uh, I'm I'm all I'm all ready. Love it, man. Well, thank you guys so much. I'm looking forward to everybody. Thank you very much, Jafar, And I can't can't tell you how much I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Bye.